Marty Patrick Kane's got a heart and Art Ross, a Gon Smythe. He's won three yeah. to Stanley Cups, but he's also coming off pretty significant hip surgery that sidelined him for six months. The Wings are already ahead of the Lightning and the Leafs in the Atlantic Division. If he's healthy, how concerned should Toronto and Tampa be right now? They should be very concerned because last season when Patrick Kane joined the Rangers, he was not healthy. Still managed to get 12 points in 19 regular season games and six points in seven playoff games. So you would think that that production is going to go up if healthy with the Detroit Red Wings. And also, the Leafs and the Tampa Bay Lightning had to expect a little bit of a regression when it comes to Detroit Red Wings, right? They're second in NHL in goals above expectation. They're third in shooting percentage. So you think those numbers are going to come down a little bit. Billy Uso is 7-3-1 with an 8-8-8 save percentage. So you'd think he'd lose more games with the same save percentage. But now Patrick Kane may balance all of that out. If the rest of the team comes back down to earth a little bit, maybe Patrick Kane can fill in that void. So that regression that you had to expect coming to Detroit may not be there because you're getting, you know, a superstar player like Patrick Kane. We're going to use that phrase, if healthy, a million times. Kane's got some history yeah. with Alex Dabrinkit. They played on a line together in Chicago. What kind of role do you see Kane having on a Red Wings team that's just two points back of Florida for third in the conference right now? Well, for me, it's a complimentary role with Patrick Kane, especially early on. I don't see him getting to the top line with Dylan Larkin. Despite the fact that Larkin and Kane played together at the World Championship with Team USA, they know each other well. They weren't on the same line, but still... I don't see him going to the top line. I see him being on the second line as a complimentary piece to Alex Dabrinkit. Two seasons ago, Patrick Kane had 92 points in that season, 66 assists. And he was playing with Dabrinkit. That's when Dabrinkit scored 41 goals with the Hawks. So you're looking at second line duty, maybe 18, 19 minutes a game, not the 20, 22 minutes that we used to see Patrick Kane play with the Chicago Blackhawks. And also... I think Patrick Kane will be slotted on the second power play. You're thinking, are you crazy putting Patrick Kane on the second power play? Well, Dabrinkit is on the second power play. So why mess around with the ninth best power play in the NHL right now in Detroit? Leave that first unit alone. Add Patrick Kane to the second power play. Maybe you get to the top five and maybe it helps the team win more games. Not just Kane and Dabrinkit, but it's a team concept right there. I would never call you crazy, but you know what is crazy? Detroit missed the playoffs <laughs> in each of the last seven seasons. Prior to that, an amazing streak of 25 straight appearances, including four Stanley Cups. He may not lead them back to glory of the Cup, but a playoff berth, that wouldn't hurt.